Hey, this is Mr. Crayfish, and welcome back to my redstone tutorials. In this tutorial today, I'm going to be showing you how to build a retractable staircase that can go back in and out. So if I press this button right now, you'll see the staircase goes in, and if I press it again, that will come back out. Same with this button up here, just so you can stop mobs from coming up your staircase. Um, that the stairs will go in, if I press it again, it will go out. A cool thing that you could do with this is if you um, just put these back in, you could put a chest here and store like your secret stuff in there, but I don't think it would be that secret. But if I press that button, you can't see it, and it's a, just a cool way to store your items. So let's get into the tutorial. So what you're going to need is 16 redstone, 3 sticky pistons, 2 normal pistons, 3 stair blocks, I'm going to be using stone, 3 redstone repeaters, four redstone torches, three buttons, and a 64 stack of blocks of your choice. So the first thing that we're going to do is lay out where the T flip-flop button's going to go. So you want to do a three times two wall, and then place the button, one button in the middle there. Then you want to come to the back, and in the middle, lay out a two, two blocks down, and next you want to dig out a four long hole, so one, two, three, four. Make sure it's right next to there. Now you want to put your normal pistons on the end of this hole like that. And now place one block in the hole so there's one space missing. And then you want to cover up that hole by placing one on there and one on there like so. Now get your redstone torches and put them on the ends of these blocks so they are powering the pistons. Now get your redstone and put them on top of the, those blocks there. Now the next thing that you want to do is dig out a five long hole starting from this block here. So one, two, three, four, five, actually six. And now place a redstone torch at the end there. Now, after that redstone torch, you want to dig out another layer, so right back to the start. Now dig out these ones here as well, and you'll notice that you hit a extended piston. What I want you to do is dig out under it and put a redstone torch. Now when that block comes over back here, it's going to power that block so we can have an output of redstone. Now what you want to do is put a block in front of that redstone torch, get some redstone and put it on top of there, then bring it across here and then make it go into that block there which will turn off that torch later on when we get to that part. Now we're going to do, we're going to actually cover up that hole but make sure you don't cover up that bit there or it won't work. So cover that up and we'll cover there like that. Now we're going to move on to the um, stairs, but let me just quickly destroy this because I accidentally placed that there and I wasn't supposed to. So from this hole here, you want to place one block there, then you want to do two like that. And there should be a gap in between from, there should be two gaps in between from there, so one, two, then place the block. Now you want to do one, two, three, one, two, three, like that, and it will look like a grandstand, kind of. Well, I think it looks like a grandstand. Now this is the part where you get out your stairs, so place them on the edge of the grandstand here. One, two, three. Now get your sticky pistons. Hopefully you can place them like this. Um, so you want to go like that so it's facing into it. Do that for that one, and same for there, so it's touching it. Now on the other side, you want to place redstone repeaters in front of all these, because if you don't, uh, they won't get powered properly. Then get your redstone and place it like that, and it will be powered by that redstone torch, which is under this block. 
and you'll notice that it extended now. And the last bit that we're going to do is the top top um, button. Now you want to build your platform up the top of the stairs, like so. We'll do it a little bit longer. And another 3 by 2 spot to put it. And place your button in the middle. Now over this side, you want to make a path up to it. And you'll notice that that's the middle there. You want to place the rest of your redstone on there. And that is complete. If I go and press this button now, you'll notice the stairs retract. And now they come out when you press it. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please press the like button if you would like to see more. And check out my face pe Facebook page for the latest news on my channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, like, subscribe, comment, and yeah, bye.